the farmers are working. You can probably hear that. Um, but I'm on my back porch, which my kids call the watermelon room. I call it memories and yeah, it's definitely the watermelon room. Everything's watermelon. But anyways, wanted to just come on here because it was kind of laid on my heart to share like maybe a devotion every day, um, some words of encouragement or just words of truth. Um, I think to me, I don't try to sugarcoat anything. Uh, if you know me, I'm very transparent. That's just me. Um, I do know that I want the truth spoken to me, so I'm all about truth. Um, some people might not like that. Some people actually take offense to that, and unfortunately, that's not my intentions. Um, but I do want to share a few words with you. But first, I'm going to show you how beautiful it is today. Before I started here in the tractors, um, I think they're belling hay next door. But um, before I started um, hearing that, it was actually just birds <laughs> and the dog here and there uh, just sat out here and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I get to view. Um, so I, I try to think of, of um, life this way. I am not one to sit at home by no means. Oops, just touched my face. See, then I'm like, oh no, just touched my face, but good thing I'm at home, right? But anyways, um, I'm not one to sit at home all the time. Um, I'm usually on the go. I drive to work an hour and a half one way, an hour and a half back the other. It's been about 50 minutes since all this has happened. But as of yesterday, when Governor DeSantis put um, the order in for us to stay at home, um, I am at home. And hopefully um, this 30 days, my intentions and the things that God has laid on my heart is to draw closer to him. Um, you know, a lockdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, stay at home order, whatever you want to call it. Um, it, it's a time to draw closer to God and he's really laid that on my heart. And, and we are living in a day that it, it it's awakening is what it is. Um, not only is it being brought to our attention that our world is corrupt in many ways, it's also being brought to our attention that we have no control of that. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care who you are. We definitely need to be praying for the president and um, Trump and Pence and all of our leaders. But it is definitely a day of awakening. And, um, you know, we're not supposed to fear because in this we have to remember that God is still in control. In the end, if you've accepted him as your savior, he's won this battle. There's no reason for us to fear. Does it put doubt that we don't know what tomorrow holds? Sure it does. But when it comes down to it, God is in control still. So, you know, there's so many things that we battle with. And, and um, I was earlier in there working and God laid it on my heart, stop what you're doing and share with people your heart and share with people a devotion to encourage them daily. And, and so many people are like, what do we do now? What do we do? Well, I know what God tells us to do. And so I'm going to share that with you. So, um, I want to bring you, oh, first of all, let me show you, um, what I'm looking at and I'm not very, very good at this. I thought there was a way to turn it around, but maybe there's not. So, how do I do this? Ah! I don't know, and my kids are doing their schooling in there, so I can't turn, I can't get them. So, let's do it this way then. So, this is what I get to see. And I hope you're seeing it, because I'm not seeing it, so I don't know. But this is what I'm sitting out here. And able to be blessed with, so hopefully you're able to see that. Um, if not, I'll figure out how to do it and maybe next time. But what I wanted to bring uh, your attention to today, and to me, it's very important that, um, that we focus on God. I truly believe that, that he's allowing this to happen because he wants his people to draw close to him. 
And that brings me to a verse that I've shared with many previous to this, but it brings me to this verse. Um, it's in Second Chronicles, um, and it's chapter 7, verse 14. Bring my Bible up here because I can't really see. I should have got my glasses. Sorry, guys. But Second Chronicles, chapter 7, um, verse 14. And this is what it says. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is what it says. It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. I mean, <laughs> that verse holds so much. You know, so many of us um, need to turn from wicked ways, or, or there's just so many that need to turn from their wicked ways. Um, those that have accepted Christ, we need to learn to put him first. Um, we say we put him first, but do we truly put him first? Um, and, and that was what was laid on my heart earlier when I was in there doing my work. I was like, wait a minute. Yes, I prayed this morning, but wait, I haven't given any of my time to God other than Thank you, Lord, for this day. Forgive me for my sin. You know, the basic everyday prayer. And I'm not saying that that's not important because that is very important. But what I am saying is that God can use so much more of us. We need to give him all of us. And in this verse, it just tells me we need to humble ourselves. We need to pray because we're not doing that. No, I, don't, I really, truly don't think any of us are doing that. And if we are, there's something in our lives that we can do better. So, this day uh, in the state of Florida started today, 30-day stay-at-home order. Um, a lot of people were like, well, should have started way before now. And, and you're perfectly fine with your opinions. We all have those. But I, I think we're splitting hairs at that point. If most adults would have stayed home and done what they were asked to do when it all started, then we wouldn't have to do these kind of things. <laughs> but with that, I'm just as guilty because... There's been times that I've went out and things that I've done that I probably could have waited to do. Um, and, um, you know, things that I should have stood up stronger for that I didn't. But anyways, when it comes down to it, um, we have to let the past go. We have to focus on today, focus on the future, and humble ourselves and pray. And that's not just today, that's every day. And I believe with all of my heart that God is allowing this to happen for a reason. He wants us to turn back to him. He wants us to turn to him. And he wants us to grow closer to him and stay steadfast, not just in the 30 days, but the times coming. Um, you know, I'm not a theologist. I haven't studied theology, but God did give me common sense. And I know from reading his word that he doesn't allow things to happen that he can't control. And he is in control of this. And if you've accepted him as your savior, he's already won this battle. But there's so many others that need to hear and turn to him. And we need to grow closer to him. So, all of this is spoken out of love, and I just wanted to help you guys. So, my encouragement to you today is take this time that God's given us. We woke up this morning, we're breathing. Um, we might be stuck at home, but we're breathing. Um, and use it to grow closer to God. He loves you, and I love you. And in all of this, we'll grow closer to Him. And stronger as people and stronger as human beings, and stronger as a nation. God bless.